Hey there, all of my Sagittarius people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting September 22nd, 2024. And just a quick heads up for you all, I've got a special sale going on right now through the end of September, and that is to celebrate my 11-year anniversary of being in business here on YouTube. And so every year around this time of year, I like to do a sale to say thank Thank you. And so for those of you who have ever wanted to get a session with me or wanted to see what it was like, might want to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com, see what's on sale, and it would be nice to get to know you. So let's talk about your week now. <laughs> what's going on when it comes to your astrology weather? Well, on the 22nd and 23rd, we've got Venus in Libra forming a tense square to Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. And for everybody, this is just spelling drama and overreactive bullshit. And for you, there could be a fight or some kind of confrontation or some drama getting stirred up either in a friendship circle or in a work circle. Now with Venus and Pluto not getting along together, this can also indicate issues around people shooting their mouths off, being impulsive, not knowing when it is actually a good time to take action or speak. So you do not want to just let it loose with them because there will be consequences for people that don't know how to control themselves. On the 24th and 25th, we've got a grand earth trine between Mercury in Virgo, Uranus in Taurus, and Pluto in Capricorn. And this spells big plot twists and surprise gains as it relates to a financial or professional concern. Because a grand earth trend is happening in your financial sectors, there is likely going to be some kind of environmental account or work-wide shift that is going to be bringing you some kind of special benefit that is going to continue to provide you with payoff benefits as we go through the rest of the year. So keep your eyes open for that. So that's what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Sagittarius, here's your tarot traffic. And so this week, when it comes to your earth sector, work job and finances, you've got the temperance card reversed. Now, the temperance card reversed on a financial level, if we're strictly talking about just cash, is actually pretty good. It can indicate, you know, this week could be quite... Um, consistent as far as bringing you uh, money in faster droves, whether it's through work hours, through projects, through sales, or even through other people. However, with the temperance card reversed, there can also be some issues that come up with overextension, incompatibility, or overexertion, just in terms of work, demands, obligations, priorities are concerned. And you want to make sure that you are not letting things kind of push you or push your luck too far. This can also indicate some issues that could come up where we might almost feel like we have to be spread everywhere at once, and you don't want to set a precedent of doing that. Enjoy the good that can come from this, but make sure that you're controlling what could go too far. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Four of Wands upright. Now, the Four of Wands upright is the card of celebration. It's the card of success, milestone achievements, and wins where we are crossing important thresholds. Now, for a lot of you, this could be something that is being celebrated with a friend, with an ally, a family member, or a partner, uh, a joint victory that you're taking part in, or this could be something going on where somebody is securing a win of this kind for you, whether they are finding it, making it happen, putting the finishing touches on, or making something click. But either way, it looks like your social life and your connections are really working hard for you. So make sure to stay engaged and in circulation. For your challenge this week, you've got the lovers reversed. And the lovers card reversed is a card that talks about bad deals, bad commitments, 
lose-lose conditions, um, and things where binding influences are creating problems. And a lot of the times when this card shows up as a challenge, people need to be ready to break away from things that they have become wrapped up in, that they have become overly uh, wound up in, attached to, or bound or controlled by. You may have to take some time to maybe quit certain agreements or commitments this week, or maybe even reverse certain deals or certain plans that you've made with others. Because with the lover's card reversed, sometimes commitments can speak for our time, our space, or our availability in a way that's harmful to us. And if they've been doing it for a while, it's time to rethink them. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. And this is actually a good commitment card. It's not talking about bad commitments, it's talking about good ones, because the Two of Pentacles reversed is all about getting things made solid where they have been wishy-washy, where they've been up in the air, where they've been chaotic, and getting them firm, solid, and grounded, and also getting rid of a lot of excess. When we have the Two of Pentacles reversed in love, it's likely you and a partner are going to be simplifying, downsizing, or even quitting on some things that are going to make each of you a lot more uh, feeling more relaxed, more at home within yourselves, and bringing a lot more peace into your lives in general. This could also indicate the settling or the establishing of some kind of commitment that is going to crystallize a plan that has had no way of coming forth into being for you and a partner. And for those of you who are single or available to new people, the Two of Pentacles reverse is indicating, well, it's a trend like that could get started here with somebody new or recent as well. And for your spiritual advice, your guidance for the week, you've got the death card reversed. The more you resist turning over pages, the more you're going to repeat life. And that's one of the big things with the death card reversed. It is the card that says there are new be no new beginnings without endings. And you may have to see some situations through a different in a different light this week where maybe certain things that you hold on to or you keep going just for history or old time's sake or whatever reason are actually the things that could be keeping you in a stuck space. The death card reverse is saying be ready to take on some overdue transitions and some overdue endings as you go through this week to make sure that you can fully commit to what is good. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Thank you.